Hi, I'm Peter Humanick from BigBrush.com. Today we're doing a painting of the Rock of Ages Lighthouse. Uh, it'll be stormy sky and rough water. First thing I'm going to do is a quick sketch of the lighthouse itself. I'm using a reference photograph I took a few, oh, a few years ago. I'll do the sketch now and I'll soak the paper and dry it. Alright, we've already drawn the horizon line and I'm going to move the lighthouse a little bit further to the right. Um, starting about here, I'll work on, I'll start penciling in the rocks. There's not going to be a lot of detail in the painting. Okay, now the, bo the bottom base of the lighthouse. I go from side to side, one over here. Put the top of the base down and start coming down the wider part of the lighthouse. Come in a bit. Now the base of the light itself. And the light. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to uh, soak the paper in the towel and towel dry it. And we're ready to do the sky and the rest of the painting. Okay. Now, now the paper is soaked. It's stretched and very flexible. So now I'm going to just towel dry it, and we'll start the painting. I'm working on 140 pound arches paper. The reason I like arches, it's a very tough paper and, and it works well for doing rocks when I scrape in rocks. It's got a nice texture to it. Okay, now we're just going to put water right around the lighthouse. If we don't do that, we're going to have some areas that haven't got water. So just going to come right through the lens, down the side, around the base of the lighthouse, and come down the other side. Okay, and then that, that'll take care of that and we'll start mixing the paint. Okay, we're going to use burnt sienna and cobalt blue in a dark neutral color here. I want to make that a little bit darker. I'm just going to add in a little bit of alizarin crimson. Got a dark, dark gray here. Okay, that should do it. Now we're going to apply it, that puddle, at least in the top left hand corner. Keep it over here. And with that three inch wash brush, I'm just going to touch the edges and let the, let the colors come.
back another bit. Let run off the edge of the, uh, the edge of the page. Let that dry and we'll get onto the water. Okay, now we're going to move into the water. The, water the, the sky is still a little bit wet yet, but not a ton of big deal. So I just add a little bit of Prussian blue to that the original mix and I'm going to put some, just some diagonal lines, bottom left hand corner, maybe one over here, and one near the top of the water. Then with that two inch wash brush, I'm just going to join in between the waves. We're really painting the illusion of rough water. So it looks wild enough we're virtually done. So we let that dry and we'll move on to the next steps of the painting. Let the, we let everything just sit for about oh, 10 minutes and I put the, the let's let the uh, the waves mingle, the colors and the waters mingle together and we put the hair dryer to it and we're ready to go for the rest for the lighthouse now. Okay we've got, uh, we're going to start working on the top of the lighthouse. Uh, the uh, the light source is coming from the right hand side, so we're painting the shadows on the peak here. This will be the dark side of the lighthouse. And just some clean, just some, just some water. Let the colors uh, come from dark to light. The water in this, and just pull the pull those dark colors to the right hand side. Down through here, the same thing's going to happen. Let them get a little bit lighter.
I come down to the base and I mix the ultramarine blue and burnt sienna. Get that dark. And the base of the lighthouse is it's actually is metal. The rest of the lighthouse is all concrete. Same thing with the paint on the left hand side. Move the colors over. some detailing through here. Yeah, I just got a little matte cutting blade or just a, a blade from, uh, from matte knife. I'm just going to pull down some color on his left hand side. Showing some texture. Then I'll paint the shadow side of the lighthouse on the left hand side. Well, just a little bit of that cobalt that we had in the sky, and just bring that right down right down to the base so with a one inch flat brush I have I'm just going to pick up some water and just drag it to the outside edge of that shadow and let it go from slowly from dark to light And we just let that dry. Okay, now we'll work on the rocks. Burnt sienna, ultramarine blue, and we'll just start painting the rocks. Moving along. Drag that across the bottom edge of the rocks. That way I don't have any hard edge, I've got a soft edge in the bottom. let that dry and get into some more detail on the lighthouse. Okay, I'll let the rock sit for oh, maybe a minute and I'm just going to scrape in some light side. Some highlights in that rock formation. And we'll let that dry and we'll work on the rest of the detail in the lighthouse. Okay, now we'll move on to do some of the detail in the lighthouse, some of the windows and the doors. So there's going to be a window, the top, another window over here, one about here, another one here, another one here, and near the bottom, another window, another one. Then we have the door. And a little bit of a peek on the windows.
I'm just going to scrape in a little bit of light just for some interest on that on the windows and doors. And I'll come in and paint in that And I'll take that little blade I have uh, for scraping. And I have a, an aerial over here. And the windows. Balcony around here, railing. Over here we have an aerial, an antenna, one on the other side. And we're almost done. Let that sit for a little bit and we'll work in some more detail shaping the rocks. I'll get some dark ultramarine blue. We're just going to separate the rock here from the base of the lighthouse, just going over top of the rocks. And soften that edge. And same thing with the rock. We'll get some detail in the rock formation here. And soften these edges. base holding that antenna down. Yeah, I want it to really look loose and wild, so take that blade and maybe just a, come down one side with the blade. Do one over here. Pull some of that color I got out of it. And just a little more detail in that now that white house old concrete has a little bit of lichen growing on the north side. Just that little bit of raw sienna. Yeah, it was built in the late 1800s by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, so a lot of things are growing on it now. Okay, just for the last finishing touches, we're going to just you get a little bit of 80 grit sandpaper. We're just going to do a little sanding across the bottom of the rocks here. To just the illusion of some white caps that are banging against the rock formation. Move right onto the other side.
And that should do it. Okay, with the same reference photograph, we've done a couple paintings. One with rough water and one on a nice calm day. And when it's a nice calm day, I just make the, uh, the lighthouse just the paper a little bit longer and not quite as high. It's just a little bit more peaceful and tranquil. And the, the rougher water one, just on a half sheet of watercolor paper. So watercolor, a photograph, nothing more than a reference. You can do four or five different types of paintings just using the photograph for a reference, and that's all it really is. And that's what it, gang.